Yeah, Tuna really started about uh, the concept itself got together uh, right about four or five years ago when Andre, Philip, Adam, Anton and myself uh, were in Antigua. And we sat and had a meeting, we were just discussing the uh, sport in general. What was obvious to us is that here we are, three of us, uh, deeply involved in the sport. You know, I was doing my custom boards. Uh, Andre was a professional kiteboarder. Adam was doing kite scoop as well as running Kite Antigua, the kite school. And there's three of us involved in the sports, all from the islands, but yet we weren't working together. So we thought it'd be a good idea for us to get together and sort of consolidate our, our ideas, our feelings, uh, our vibe of what we're trying to do. And, um, and that's how the uh, concept of Tona started. Uh, you know, it started to gain momentum from there. Uh, of the reality of it. Um, at that point, as you know, Andre Philip was uh, was already fully sponsored by a, a company. So he, his his involvement was limited, but he was still a very big part of the concept. He was there, there at the beginning. Um, so it's nice to have him on board now at full capacity. You know, and I think he's, he's pleased to be here to be able to, sh to, uh, to put all his energy into Tona. Uh, the word Tona itself is a carib word meaning water. And uh, Andre, Adam and myself, all from the islands, you know, everything we do in the Caribbean is centered around water in some way, so we thought it very fitting to use uh, Tona as a, as a name of the company. Uh, I've known Adam and Andre for years. I'm a few years older than they are, so I remember when I was living in Antigua, those, they were young boys running around. Andre was a little kid riding his bicycle up and down the street. Adam moved to Antigua from Trinidad, you know, I think, you know, just before he turned 10. And he and Andre became really tight, you know, soon after. So it's a tight group. Um, they know me, my family. I know them. I know their families. We've known each other for years. Uh, uh, you know, there's no secrets between us. You know, it's a small community in the islands. You know, there's not much you can really, you know, uh, hide with. So it, it's it's kind of nice to have a, a group of people that know each other so well. We all have a common theme. We all understand each other. Uh, but yet we all have very unique abilities that we bring to the table as far as the company is concerned. Uh, I do the custom boards, uh, you know, I make the designs of the products. You know, Adam does the graphics and Andrew, of course, is, is a writer. Uh, but just to expand on those guys, you know, Adam Anton, you know, he does, he's been doing graphics for many years. He's very good at art. He's always been, he's, you know, he has a good eye for art. You know, he, he's, he's very good at design. Um, so he does all our graphics for the boards, for the web pages. He, you know, he, it's not just graphics. Uh, what Adam has, it, it's very special. He has a feel for what we're trying to get out there. We, we all live this lifestyle, uh, and it's so natural to us. It's so normal to us that we don't really we take it for granted. Adam has a good ability to, you know, incorporate uh, how we live in, into the media. Uh, you know, to, to give everybody out there a, a good feel for who we are and what we do. You know. It's, it, it's not as easy as, as, as it seems. So Adam is good at, at portraying the lifestyle that we need, that you know, we're trying to get out uh, and that we live. And, uh, you know, he's a very, very valuable member of the team. Um, it leaves me to uh, keep my head down and just work on the designs of the board, the functionality of it. It leaves Andrew just to do the write and the test and give me the feedback. And, uh, I, you know, and Adam just, you know, we can just trust Adam to get the image that we want portrayed out there correctly and uh, to correctly represent uh, who we are. Well, there's not much more I can say about Andre when it comes to kiteboarding than uh, most of you don't already know. Um, you know, he's been with this sport since the beginning. I think he is the most successful, uh, longest professional kiter they have uh, uh, currently. I mean, he's been it from the beginning. You know, he's very loyal. He's been a Cabrina from the start. Um, you know, he's been very, very instrumental in, in you know, focusing on, on the sport, keeping it to the core values, he was the ones pushing the bindings, the wake style riding, the sliders, the, the ramps. You know, he was at the forefront of all that. So he's done a lot for the industry. He's really um, represented himself. He's represented the sport, and more importantly, he's represented the islands very well. And we're very proud of him. Um, if there's a few things I can say about Andre that most of you probably don't know, is that he comes across as very relaxed, and he is a real, you know very laid back sort of island style kind of guy. Uh, but Andre is. He's, he's a true professional. Andre, Andre's still an awesome writer. I think nobody else has his style as yet. Um, you know, he's, he's been loyal to, to the sport. He's been uh, steady in his vision of where he thinks the sport should be as a legitimate sport. He focuses on the core, core riders and he not just, he's he definitely, I think he's my definition of somebody that has never sold out. He never really is just 
gone in a direction because somebody told him to go so or it'll be financially better for him to do so. He really only does what he thinks is best and I, I got to give him a lot of credit for that. So it, it's great to have him on board. But it, our company has a soul. It has it has a beginning, you know, it's very, I hate to use the word organic because it's so overused, but it really is an organic company. We just started from nothing, uh, you know, and we have no outside influence. You know, we just had a dream, had a plan, and, and we're ex executing it now. It hasn't been easy, but it, it's been a lot of work, but it's been a process for all of us. It's been very, very good. Um, the main thing we, you'll see, if you ever come to the islands and hang out with us, you'll see that, you know, what's number one, in terms of importance in our lifestyle is enjoyment. We have to enjoy what we do. And if we're at the beach, no matter what we're doing, how serious the occasion, we'll always be cracking jokes, making fun of each other. And that's very important to us. So it's important that that, that remains our number one focus, is this enjoyment level. Um, I think if we keep enjoying what we're doing and, uh, and bring people in to see that enjoyment, I think eventually, uh, we will get out there to the mass uh, uh, people and, and they'll understand where we come from.